Good morning dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video, here's Miss Tilly. I am going to be taking you guys along for a little bit of a morning in my life, I guess, because it's still technically morning. That will most likely go into the afternoon um, because I have lots to do in the puppy room today. Puppies are officially two weeks old. They are growing and getting so big. Um, I do have to vacuum and mop in here today and get it cleaned up and then we also have puppy pictures that we need to get done so I figured I would kind of take you guys along for all that um, so if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video make sure you get a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below here's mama Tilly getting some loves and I'm gonna go show you guys the puppies and then we'll get into the cleaning vlog like a montage all right guys so here I am in the puppy box with Tilly she is currently nursing as you can see pups have gotten way bigger then when we did the delivery vlog, there, that one's very mad because it can't get to the milk bar. There's only about eight good nipples and 11 puppies, so they do have to kind of fight it out and rotate. Um, in the mornings, I split them up in two and like first thing in the morning and let them nurse like half and half and then the same right before bed. But during the day, they just kind of fight it out, but everyone is gaining weight good and looking good. Hi, Till. Hi. She said, yes, those are my babies. I'm super proud. She's cleaning them up. But yeah, everyone's getting so big. Eyes are starting to open. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, you see those eyes starting to open up? So, they're getting really big. So we're gonna put them back down at the milk bar and we're gonna start cleaning. Think that I'm being that selfish right now. You said yourself you'd be breaking your vow. I can understand your time. All right, guys, it's dark in here because I've got something blocking the window or door window over here. But I just finished vacuuming and now I'm going to mop. I've got my mop ready and over there, so that's my last step in the cleaning. Um, and I'll probably wipe down the counters. Ignore how broken out my face is, but with having a miscarriage and everything, my hormones seem to be literally all over the place, and I just didn't feel like covering any of that up. We're going to be real today. We get acne, okay? So, that's just that, but I'm going to start mopping, and then after that, we might take a little bit of a break before we do puppy pictures. You want to do this alone What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight If you still love me, I can wait, I can wait And remember this Okay guys, I just got done mopping, everything looks really good I've got a fan going, it's dry very quickly So I have a heater right here. Um, I'm gonna put that really close to the puppy so it's blowing. 
cooling on them and keeping them warm as well as a heating pad. So I'm gonna go lay Tilly down and then get our little setup going and then we'll start taking pictures. Okay, so we're gonna let her nurse these babies and then we're gonna go get our picture set up done. Good girl. Such a good mama. Such a good mama. Okay guys, so I've got the chair right here. I've got a heating pad that I'm going to slide onto it. For the puppies. All right, so as you see, this is what it's looking like. I've got the chair heating pad. I turned it on and have it all the way up so it gets really warm for the puppies so they stay nice and snug and asleep. I've got the heater blowing right here and I'm gonna go grab some blankets to put on here for like props and stuff. All right, so this is what we're looking at. I've got the heating pad, this blanket, this throw that's like textured and really pretty. I rolled up a towel underneath it to give a little bit of a lift to like place the puppy's head right here and this is going to be our picture location so I'm just letting Tilly finish nursing a little bit more before we get started we could have been stardust same world but without us something made us made us find each other out there made us realize we're more than just stardust ignore this fact if you must to do your dreams are telling you to do And I'll be out there looking for someone like you You, you. Alright guys, so this is Pink Collar Girl. She's laying down really well. So I have been uploading their photos and editing them as I go just so it's easier. So like this is one I just took of Pink. This is one of Light Blue Blessing. That one's edited. That one's not. As you can see, she's doing it really good. But what I'll do is I'll just go into the edited one and hit Copy Settings. So they're all the same. This is hard to do with one hand. And then I'll hit that button at the top. Once again, this is hard to do with one hand. And just hit Paste Settings. Uh-oh. Well settings there we go and then this one's edited so pink is done and I think I have just a few puppies left I think she's eight so I think I have three left okay guys I just finished taking pictures I gave you guys a little sneak peek but honestly taking puppy pictures is so hard it's hard to kind of vlog and take them at the same time in my opinion puppy pictures are the worst part about being a dog breeder I know it's like oh they're so cute like puppy pictures whatever but they can be so difficult to get them to hold still to pose so in my opinion it is my least favorite part I'm exhausted so I'm going to go take my blanket that I use back upstairs and then sit down at the computer and get the pictures edited posted and the email sent out all right guys once I'm done with puppy pictures I go ahead and start on my computer work the first thing I do is upload the photos into Canva and put them into their perspective places for each puppy and also move around the text if needed. Sometimes I have to move it around to make sure it's actually legible. I always edit my photos down to the standard Instagram size. It just makes it easier and I do that in Canva. I love Canva if you're a dog breeder or own any kind of business. Honestly, you need to get Canva. It seriously is one of the most handy tools to have. So that's what I'm doing here. As you can see, it does take a little bit of time. Once I get everything done in Canva like I want, I will go ahead and download them to my computer and upload the new photos to the Faith Over Fear litter page. So here it is, and as you can see, each puppy has their own little section. So I'll just go ahead and upload all those photos into my WordPress. WordPress is the, I guess, website, you know, what do you call those website holder or whatever that I use I really enjoy it and like it so I just go ahead and add those all to our website so when anyone's looking at our website they can see the most recent photos of the puppy once I have uploaded the photos to the website I go ahead and start on our two week email I have these emails drafted that I send for every single litter so I just kind of have to copy and paste and adjust for each litter I also send out all the photos to our family so they can make sure to see the puppies grow in as you can see here I'm making some edits to this email and adjusting the go home days because obviously that changes for each litter and just giving it a title and then sending it out to all our puppy families 
Then once the email is sent out, I go to our private Facebook group for our puppy families and add the photos to our Faith Over Fear litter album. And then also at the same time that I'm doing this, I'm also on my phone uploading these photos to our Instagram page. That is basically all the computer work that I have to do after, after puppy pictures. As you can see, it is quite a bit and it takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely a busy day on puppy picture day, making sure that I get the email sent out to everyone and that all the pictures are uploaded in the right place. All right guys, so as you saw, that was all my computer work. I had to edit the photos, put them in Canva, add the names, download those, send out the email, add them to Facebook, add them to Instagram, all the things. So that's kind of a little bit behind the scenes of a morning in my life as a breeder and kind of how we do pictures around here and updates. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. I am going to sign off for today, but I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye dudes.